Welcome to unit 29, trick substitution. I want to keep this presentation short, three to five minutes. We are start with two problems. We have the problem A is the integral of square root of one minus six square. That appears, for example, when you want to compute the area of the circle. <clears throat> and the second problem is the integral 1 over cosine x dx. Now if you look at these problems and the techniques we have, this doesn't quite work. We can try substitution, 1 minus 6 squared, we can try uh, integration by parts, also here you can try various substitutions, it doesn't quite work. There is a special substitution which really works here and it kind of goes a little bit reverse. We take x is equal to sinus u. So note that we don't write u is equal, but we write x is equal to sinus u. And we i here with something which becomes simpler. This becomes then a cosine, cosine u. And then the dx is just the cosine u du. So that's the substitution we do. And maybe I just write down also 1 minus x squared square root is 1 minus sine square u, and that's just cosine u. <clears throat> and uh, we see that this problem is now very simple because we have just the uh, square root of 1 minus x squared is cosine u, and the dx is also cosine u. And uh, so we have the integral cosine square u du, which we can write with the double angle formula as 1 plus cosine 2u. This is no problem to integrate, so that's uh, u half uh, and then plus sinus 2u fourth plus c. And now we back substitute the uh, u is equal to arc sine if you want, so this is arc sine of u half plus sinus of 2 times arc sine of u fourth. So this is the final, final answer of the integration problem. <clears throat> so this is especially nice if you uh, compute the definite integral, like if you have a, if you have a circle and uh, two times the integral from minus one to one, square root of one minus six squared x, this is the area of the circle. <clears throat> So this area here, uh, and we have this function here, this is the square root of 1 minus x squared. That's minus square root of 1 minus x squared, that's why we have a factor 2 here. So this is an application of this, <coughs> of this uh, integral. Now for uh, integral number 2, we are using a magic box. There is a magic substitution which we are going to discuss a little bit more in class. We actually will just prove it with AI. In the notes you find a, a you know, proof by computation. So it's a little bit uh, hike. You have to know some trig identities to, to uh, uh, verify this, but this is pretty cool. So what we do is we just replace the cosine x we replace, replace with uh, 1 minus u square and one, over 1 plus u square. So what we have is if we, if we do that, 1 over cosine x is then just 1 plus u square over 1 minus u square. And the dx becomes uh, the 2 du, over, 2 du over 1 plus u square. That cancels away and we have the 2 du over 1 minus u square. <coughs> So that's pretty cool because we can do this with partial fractions. You have just seen that last week. So with partial fractions, so this is the integral a over 1 minus u plus b over 1 plus u. And I was still impressed from the class uh, last week when we discussed these partial fractions. Uh, some of you have figured out how to do that in your head, this, uh, this uh, uh, finding the constants a and b. We have used this resi residue method, 
right? By multiplying by minus, one minus u, we get we get here just a, and then we, one minus u over one plus u becomes zero if u is equal to minus one. And here we also multiply with one minus u, that cancels away, and so we have two uh, over one plus u. This is just this is just one. <clears throat> two over two is equal to one. So a is equal to one, and uh, one minus u squared plus uh, one over one one minus u over one plus u. So this is the log minus the log of one minus u plus the log of one plus u. <clears throat> so it's rare that in algebra uh, you see actually the class being better than you in, uh, <clears throat> in, in, in fractions, especially in fractions. Fractions are a sore topic and uh, this, is, this is fantastic. So that we can actually, these partial fractions, we can immediately see what the answer is. Uh, and we have, a, we, have a, we have an answer for that problem. <laughs> Okay, we will look at more examples in class, but here are two examples which are fun. And once we have we have done these examples here at the beginning, this is uh, exactly the same. So again, here we use uh, x is equal to sine u, and uh, dx is equal to cosine u du. That's our substitution. <coughs> And again, the square root of 1 minus x squared is equal to cosine u. <clears throat> so what we have is a 1 over cosine u. And the dx is cosine u du. <laughs> that cancels away. And so we have the integral 1 du. Of course, that's u plus c. And uh, now we plug in back substitute. So this is arc side. That's an integral we already knew. We have computed this using the, the chain rule. And uh, so we can also do that. But the trick substitution works for, for many more examples. In the homework you do, for example, the power three here, and then we would be, we would be lost with, uh, we would not know uh, how to do that. <laughs> now in this case also we use just the magic box. And if you use the magic box, the one over sinus u is the integral, is one plus u squared over 2u and the dx is the 1 plus u squared. <coughs> uh, fortunately the 1 over <coughs> that's 2 du over 1 plus u squared. So the 1 plus u squared cancels and the 2 cancels. So that's the log. This is 1 over u du. So that's log of u plus c, and now we can plug in the tangent x half again. So this is the log of tangent x half plus c. <clears throat> okay, that's it for today. But just one last word. This is very, very universal with this magic box. This is the magic box here. <clears throat> With this magic box, we can solve any, any rational expression in, in trig functions. 
Uh, of course it gets complicated in general, but the computer just reduces it to a rational expression uh, without trig functions and then you can use partial, partial fractions to do that. So a computer can do that very, 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 very well. See you in class.